stage one final flight press. Minus 15, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Power telemetry nominal. You are watching the Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through the atmosphere, carrying the Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload to geostationary transfer orbit after a successful liftoff from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Eagle supersonic. In about 10 seconds, the rocket is going to be passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure that is called Max-Q. Nine Merlin engines currently uh, thrusting produce the thrust of seven foot, sorry, five 747s at full thrust. That's how much power the Falcon 9 is producing right now. And back engine until it started. In about 30 seconds, those nine Merlin engines are going to shut off in events called uh, MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. Once MECO happens, there'll be two other uh, very quick succession stages happening after that. The first is going to be the stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage and comes back towards the drone ship. And then after that, second engine start one, which is when the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage ignites to carry the payload the rest of the way to orbit. Stand by for MECO very soon. We have Eco. State separation. And back in mission. You can hear the applause from Mission Control. Uh, it looks like that we had a successful Miko main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, and a successful start of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Uh, for those of you just joining us, on the left-hand side, you can see the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket currently expanding its grid fins, uh, getting ready for its ascent or descent back down through the atmosphere. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the engine nozzle of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. In about 10 seconds, we're going to see the fairing, which is protecting the Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload, uh, deploy from that second stage. There it is. And you just saw a successful deployment of the fairing. Fairing is only needed while in the dense uh, region of the atmosphere to protect it from aerodynamic loads. Now that we're out of the atmosphere, we can jettison it. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. You can see those cold gas thrusters on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, those help orient the first stage of the rocket so that it's pointed in the right direction as it comes back down through the atmosphere. So that first stage is currently pretty high up in the atmosphere. It's still, uh, the gas of the atmosphere, atmosphere is still very thin uh, up there. 
So in, as it approaches the much, much thicker parts of the atmosphere lower down, it's going to execute an entry burn in about a minute and a half. Uh, this entry burn is going to slow the rocket down so that as it hits the thicker parts of the atmosphere, it doesn't experience any uh, excessive heating from compression of the atmosphere. When on the launch pad, the Falcon 9 rocket is actually, the weight of the Falcon 9 uh, rocket is actually about 90% fuel. Uh, so right now that first stage is mostly empty, having expended most of its fuel to get the second stage up to orbit. Uh, that first stage, uh, therefore, because it's so light, doesn't really need that much thrust to slow down. Uh, those Falcon 9, and, so the, Mer the Merlin uh, engines actually operate at full thrust regardless of how much fuel is in the rocket. Um, so the entry burn is only about a minute long. Excuse me, 20 seconds long. Entry burn is only about 20 seconds long, starting in about a minute. Currently, we're getting good telemetry back from the first stage and the second stage. Trajectory is good for both. And the engine chamber on the Merlin vacuum engine is holding steady. We should be seeing the entry burn of that Falcon 9 first stage in the left-hand side of your screen in just about 10 seconds. Stage 1 AFTS has saved. And there is that entry burn beginning. Stage 1 entry burn is there. Still getting good telemetry from the second stage as it continues to climb, carrying that Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload to its intended geostationary transfer orbit. We had a good entry burn, and the first stage is still on track uh, to touch down on the deck of Of Course I Still Love You in the Atlantic Ocean. Church of AOS. So we don't currently have signal from that first stage, uh, but it is scheduled to start its uh, landing burn in just about stage 30 one seconds. Out. Currently the second stage, as you can see on your screen right now, is uh, still burning happily. Uh, we have good telemetry from the second stage. Still on course for a geostationary transfer orbit. Stage one landing burn has started. Stage two AFTS has saved. This is video from the drone ship, of course, I still love you. Lights have deployed. And a brief cut out in video there, but as you can see, Falcon 9 Rocket is currently standing on the deck of the Force I Still Love You. Yet another uh, landing of a successful landing of the Falcon 9 first stage. This is our 18th successful landing of the Falcon 9 rocket. We also had a uh, confirmation of a good second entry.